Hello guys and welcome to Optic Straight YouTube channel. Today we'll be reviewing a product from Swarovski called the Swarovski DG 8x25 or the Digital Guide as they call it. You are all probably very familiar with Swarovski. They are a top brand in the field of optics. They produce uh, the high-end rifle scopes, binoculars, uh, spotting scopes, etc. Uh, you're probably mostly familiar with Z8i rifle scopes or uh, DS rifle scopes, uh, the fresh ones, uh, the L range binoculars, the BTX, ATX spotting scopes, the old Swarovski Habicht binoculars, and so on. The list goes on. It's, it's, it's a very famous, very, very famous company, which really needs no introduction in the modern world. So for this device, Swarovski DG Digital Guide 8x25. As you can see, the design on this device is very, um, very unique. It is essentially a viewing device with a monocular paired with a digital camera uh, with the whole Wi-Fi system. And so what it actually is, it's not a normal monocular. You can use it for basically any types of observations but it's not a conventional monocular this product has long been in demand of the of the bird watchers because um, it is paired with a di digital camera here so you can basically recognize or for basically for recognition of birds and mammals so this is a very special device which is uh, which is one of the one of the first or the first uh, in the market uh, in this type uh, as mentioned it's used it's used for bird and uh, mammal recognitions uh, this is paired with uh, it is paired with a smartphone uh, apps or tablet apps but we'll talk about this more in the continuation of the review so first I'll go through the short physical overview of the device and uh, its uh, accessories so naturally you get a Swarovski DG the digital guide the device comes with a uh, side carrying strap for the Cordura case, which I have right here. I didn't put it in the objective. It's right here. This is the case which comes with the device. So this is the strap for the Cordura case. Um, it comes with a carrying strap for the guide, which you just install onto these two, uh, these two compartments. Then you have the eyepiece cover, which is installed on the last part of the device, so the eyepiece. Uh, we have here the USB charging cable, uh, the user manual, the, the back or the, the case itself, um, the, um, the, uh, the lens cleaning cloth, the microfiber lens, and the quick start guide, which you can see here. Um, so now the short review of the device itself. Uh, as I mentioned, device uh, device is designed with a uh, digital uh, digital camera or the uh, um, objective camera, which is here, uh, and the objective which basically projects the image. So here we have this is the focusing wheel, which you just adjust according to the distance uh, on which you're observing it's quite straightforward here you have an uh, here you have the eye cup so uh, the eyepiece cup goes right up here on the eye cup like this voila okay so so the eye the eye cups <clears throat> the eye cup has uh, two positions if you put it like this it's uh, essentially suitable for uh, people who don't use glasses and if, if you put it in this position, it's suitable for people who use glasses. Um, here we have a dioptric compensation on this on this medium ring between the uh, the focusing ring and the eye cup. Um, this one here. So how you adjust it? Basically, essentially there are four reticles inside the the DG, and the best way the best way to uh, to adjust the diopter compensation for yourself 
is when uh, is when you're looking through the device and you simply uh, adjust this uh, adjust this uh, knob and the ring as soon as all of those four reticles are perfectly sharp as I mentioned four reticles uh, two horizontally and two vertically so uh, you have to pay attention to these reticles to adjust them as uh, as best as you can this here uh, is the status light which will I will talk more about this in the continuation um, this is the uh, this is the charge level uh, so one two three for the charging of the battery and here we have the USB plug for charging the device here with this uh, appropriate cable so some general information about the device uh, I mentioned it has eight times magnification like most conventional binoculars or monoculars uh, the lens is 25 millimeters the field of view is 119 meters on a thousand meters the shortest focusing distance is 2.5 meters which means that you cannot focus the image on uh, on distances which are uh, closer than 2.5 the diopter adjustment so here is a minus four plus four adjustable um, essentially Swarovski, Swarovski states that uh, that DG has a very very adequate optical quality for Swarovski despite that they have uh, they have a, a digital camera which 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 basically it's not um, you know the basic use of the device is not for observation but for the for the recognition of uh, of birds and mammals but nevertheless the optical quality is is still uh, is still very good for Swarovski uh, the optical coatings which are used are Swaro Bright Swaro Door and uh, Swaro Top the length of the uh, of the DG is 146 millimeters the width is 112 millimeters and uh, 60, 60 millimeters of height the weight is approximately 550 grams so the device shouldn't be very heavy for uh, for using with a strap um, so you shouldn't have much problems in uh, in this regard the camera uses a very uh, very useful resolution of 4192 uh, by 3104 pixels the the video resolution you basically can choose two video resolutions um, uh, the VGA is uh, 640 by 480 and uh, 1280 by 720 pixels for the HD videos product includes an internal rechargeable battery uh, with the operation time from yeah from around 3.5 to to 6 hours depending um, depending on the on the operation mode um, you can check the battery charge level uh, also by uh, by briefly pressing the the central button i think it should work now just a second Okay, I just briefly pressed the button, and so you can see uh, one uh, one LED uh, indicator popped up. So this means that my device is is not quite okay in terms of battery. I should I should uh, recharge it. Um, DG is designed with an automatic uh, shutdown, which occurs in either five minutes or fifteen minutes. So. It shuts down in five minutes if the Wi-Fi is inactive, or in 15 minutes if there is no interaction. So if you if you don't touch any of the buttons, uh, the device and your Wi-Fi is disconnected uh, or inactive, the device will go off in 15 minutes or five minutes if the Wi-Fi is uh, inactive. Um, the DG uses two smartphone applications. It's essentially called a DG app uh, by Swarovski and uh, a Merlin bird identification, which is used for bird ident identification uh, by C Cornell Lab. Uh, these apps are free to use and are also going to be updated in the future with more and more uh, 
bird species. Um, so you use you use the DG app by Swarovski for um, for filming uh, for for capturing the images of the birds for taking videos of the birds and you use the Merlin device to uh, identify those birds which you've captured with your camera. The DG itself uh, is able to capture up to 10 images uh, so it has an internal memory which can store up to 10 images. Uh, I will talk more about this in the continuation of the review. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to talk this more in the continuation. The DG is, is, uh, is splash water and dust resistant and uh, has been rated uh, IP67. Uh, the serial number of the product is located if you if you simply unscrew the eyepiece cap. Uh, the reason I'm showing this is because it's it's located here. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's located underneath here. Okay, I can I think you can see it just a little. But it's located underneath here, under underneath the eyepiece. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is because uh, as you'll see in the continuation, when we go to the operations of the device. Uh, you can essentially uh, you can essentially connect to the DG app using the uh, uh, using the the QR code which is located here uh, either here on the on the back itself or you can simply or if you don't have the uh, the QR code by yourself uh, with yourself when you're out out there on the on the field you can just unscrew the cap and uh, connect via the serial uh, the serial number which you can find uh, underneath the iCap. Um, the DG can be installed on several smartphones or tablets that is uh, simultaneously although the maximum the maximum number is five uh, however of course all of them require an, an ind individual to have the applications installed uh, on their devices Okay, so now I will go through the basic steps on how to operate the device from start. So how to actually prepare your device uh, and then to finish, how to actually capture images and transfer them to your tablets, smartphones, computers, uh, etc. The very first thing that you have to do is to adjust the uh, diopteric compensation here. So remember, this has to be adjusted for every every particular uh, person who is going to who's going to observe with uh, the DG um, you have to make sure first that you have a sufficient battery level in order to operate normally for a uh, longer period of time as I showed you this can be simply done by pressing the, the the central release button briefly and it will show the charge level of your of your uh, guide um, then you need to hold uh, the release button for at least three seconds and it will start blinking in uh, an orange color which is which which essentially means that the device is in the progress status um, I will show you how this is done okay let's do it like this okay so you see now it's blinking orange um, so now we just have to wait for the device okay you've you've heard the click and now it's blinking green that means that device is ready i'm going to use the app to connect i hope it's going to work because the connection here is not very good okay yeah and voila it works of course the image is not focused because the closest uh, shortest focusing distance has to be 2.5 meters but it's working as you can see it's working and th that means the device is connected in the device itself you can see you can uh, take videos you can uh, capture images uh, these are the clicks you have a lot of uh, settings here you can choose to auto connect to DG auto start live stream save media to photo gallery uh, this is actually very important because all of the images will be automatically transferred to your uh, to your smartphone or to your tablet that is 
you can also use the expert mode. Uh, this is used only when you try to connect uh, multiple devices to your DG. Um, uh, and you can, you can also use, just a second, you can also use the Merlin application. So this application is used for, um, this application is used for the bird identification. It works in a similar, quite similar fashion to the DG app from Swarovski, but this one has a lot of uh, bird packs uh, which you can use uh, to identify additional, to identify uh, any types of birds. Uh, this is very briefly on how the device works. So, to okay, you can see it's still connected. So, to turn it off, you need to press and hold the release button for at least three seconds. You'll see it. Okay, now it's turned off. Uh, if the status of the LED emitter is uh, alternating, green, orange, that means that the memory is full. I mentioned uh, the DG can store up to maximum 10 images. So in this case, you have to you have to transfer all of your images to clear the space. Uh, I told you that uh, the images are are transferred automatically. But if sometimes if the connection goes off, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, if 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 it's inactive, um, the device itself will warn you with the LED um, LED emitter. If the light is flashing red, the battery uh, the battery is extremely low. So this means roughly around 10% uh, or below. So you can you can download your DG app by Swarovski or a Merlin application uh, in either Apple Store, Apple App Store, or a Google Play Store. As I mentioned, uh, these these apps are free to use and are going to be updated regularly by uh, Swarovski. Um, we also mentioned briefly in uh, the general section that you need to activate your uh, DG device either by scanning the QR code, which you can find on the packaging of the device, or by entering the serial number manually, which is located under the twist of ICAP. Remember, this is very important. You mustn't forget this because you can quickly lose or forget the case at home, but you have the device with yourself all the time. Uh, okay, so essentially now uh, we would be ready to capture the image once we've done all these steps. So uh, connect your device or first uh, adjust the optic compensation, check that you have a sufficient battery level, um, pressing the button for three seconds, connecting it with your smartphone. Uh, of course, you have to make sure that you have all of those apps, DG apps, DG mammals, and uh, the Merlin application. Um, as you can see, you can take images by briefly pressing the, the capture button, button on, the, on the smartphone or the tablet or by pressing the release button on the device itself. Uh, itself. When doing this, try to hold the device uh, as steady as possible in this procedure. Otherwise, the image will be very blurred, uh, the sharpness will be lacking and, uh, and it will basically be no good. You will hear a signal when the photo is taken. We've already shown how this is done. It should take approximately around 1 to 1.5 seconds. The image is uh, instantly transmitted to your smartphone, as we mentioned. Um, and the DG app can store up to 10 minutes, even if the app is closed and the device is unable to transfer them to your smartphone. Uh, when taking the image, don't forget to keep your smartphone in the approximate distance of uh, of the device. This is roughly around five, meter, uh, five meters or um, or less. I think we covered all of the basics. Um, our our impression on the DG uh, in optic straight at optic straight is uh, is I would say we are, we are very surprised. We are very fascinated by the device because we've, we've been getting a lot of demand from the bird watchers uh, for such a device and uh, no one was able to no one was able to release such a device um, um, in the past. So Swarovski was the first and the device is continuously going to get updated with more and more mammals and uh, bird species. 
So yeah, it's going to be quite useful. Um, this is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit like button, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below to praise or motivate. And yeah, that's it. Take care, until next time.